Hi, if you're new around here, my name is Jack. In this channel, I talk about personal finance, adulting, and self-improvement. And today, in this video, let's talk about financial literacy. So, two days ago, I was researching for an article or topic na maganda i-discuss here in my YouTube channel. And I came across this website. It's called FQ Mom. And nung sinesearch ko yung website niya, may nakita kong test. It's FQ Test. And nung tinay ko siya two days ago, uh, I find it interesting kasi medyo nahirapan ako. And may mga terms doon na magandang i-discuss here in my channel. So today, let's discuss and take this test. So dun sa site, uh, it asks you to put your name, age, and gender. So yun yung gagawin natin ngayon. Uh, let's put my name, Jack, age, 21 to 30 years old, male. So, part one is knowledge. So, question number one is, you spend 6,000 every month for your food expenses. If inflation rate is 3% per year, your 6,000 next year will, it, will enable you to buy. Uh, yung choice number one is more food than today, same amount of food, less food than today, or I don't know. So, yung answer dito is, less food than today. <clears throat> yung reason is because of inflation rate. So, nakalagay dito is 3% per year. Uh, yung inflation rate is yung nagpapababa ng purchasing power natin. So, that's the reason why yung nabibili mo 10 years ago, hindi mo na mabili ngayon. So, parang yun ang may picture na yung laman, yung 1,000 mo madami mabibili 10 years ago but today, halos wala ka na mabili sa grocery or counting county na lang. That's the reason why abo mababa yung purchasing power natin. It's because of inflation rate and also that's why we encourage people na mag-invest para ma-protect yung money nila from inflation rate. Kasi kag, pagka nasa savings account lang yan or tinabi mo lang yan kung saan, if hindi nag-grow yung money mo, you're losing the value of your money dahil sa inflation rate. So, yun yung uh, inflation rate. Question number two, you open the bank account with 5,000. If the interest rate is 1,000% per year and you never withdraw nor deposited more during the year, how much will your balance be after one year? So, yung choices is 5,000, more than 5,000, less than 5,000, and I don't know. So, yung answer dito is more than 5,000. So, kahit pa paano naman nag-grow yung money mo doon. So, base kasi dito, it's 1%. So, uh, pagka may interest rate yung pinaglagyan mo ng pera mo, it will grow by that percent. Question number 3. You invested in a 5-year bond issued by company A. This means that you're, you own part of company A. Company A owes you money. You owe company A money or I don't know. So, yung question dito is, ay, yung answer dito is, uh, company A owes you money. So, yung reason is because it's a bond. So, uh, pagka pinanood mo yung past video ko when I talk about bonds, ibig sabihin nito is nagpapautang ka uh, sa government or sa isang private company or private institution. So, that's the reason why company A owes you money. Question number four, you invested in the stock of company Z. Which of the following statements is false? So, ito na yung medyo nakalito pagka hinahanap na yung false. You are part owner of company Z. True yan. You're guaranteed to earn from the investment. Hmm, ito hindi to totoo. The value of your investment can go up or down within an hour. So that's true. None of the above, I don't know. So the best answer is you are uh, guaranteed to earn from this investment. So yun, when it comes to stock market and when it comes to the stock, there's no guaranteed things. Question number five. Your credit card has an outstanding balance of 10,000. You will always pay the minimum amount of 350 each month at an interest rate of 3.5 per month percent per month. How many years will it take you to fully pay your bill? So dito medyo naguluhan ako, hindi ko masyado na gets yung tanong. Ah uh, ano bang ibig sabihin nito na so parang may ano 10,000 ka na balance, mayara mo yung minimum mo na 350. Ah uh, so mababawas ba yon dun sa uh, inutang mo or Pang pagkakaintindi ko kasi dito, so hindi na talaga ako sure dito. When it comes to this, parang binabayaran mo lang yung interest mo. So parang nagiging never-ending siya. So, ang, ang, ang option mo dito is less than 5 years, between 5 to 10 years, between 10 to 15 years, and never. Or I don't know. So yung pagkakagets ko dito sa tanong na to is, parang every month, since nga 3.5% yung nagiging interest rate mo ng 10,000, so parang nangyari every month, yung ano lang, yung... Uh, interest lang yung binabayaran mo imbis na nababawasan mo yung pinaka uh, unutang mo talaga. So kasi ang 3.5% ng 10,000 is 350. So if bayad ka na bayad ng 350 lang, so para ini-eliminate mo lang yung interest mo na binabayaran. So for this question, I'm not really sure pero yung sagot ko dito is never. Never na mag-end kasi nga 
yung interest lang yung binabayaran mo. Question number six, which of the following statements is false about pooled funds, mutual funds, or U UITF? So if you watch my last video, I discuss about this uh, two topics. So yung options mo, hanap mo dito yung false na naman. So uh, they can be invested in several assets like stocks and bonds. So this is true. They're not issued by PDIC. So uh, toto, ito, uh, they're not insured by the PDIC. Totoo din yan. They pay a guaranteed rate of return which depends on the past performance. Hindi yan totoo. Yan. Di, yeah, to, to. Hindi, ito yung hindi totoo. They pay a guaranteed rate of return which depends on past performance. All of the above, none of the above, I don't know. So, ang hindi dyan totoo is they pay a guaranteed rate of return which depends on the past performance. Question number 7. If you are 25 years old investing for your retirement at 60, which asset will normally give you the highest returns. So time deposits, bonds, stocks, I don't know. So time deposit, so this is uh, very conservative. Bonds conservative then stocks is the most aggressive one. So high, so ang tanong is, which will give you the highest returns? So for these options, obviously stocks will give you the highest returns. Pero hindi yan guaranteed. Question number eight. When you invest your money in different assets, what happens to your risk of losing money. So, ang options mo is increase, decrease, stay the same, I don't know. So, ang pinakaibig sabihin ng tanong na to is para ka nag-diversify. Invest your money in different assets. So, as I said in my previous video, pag nag-diversify ka, i-spread mo yung risk. So, bumababa yung risk. So, uh, what happens to your risk of losing money? So, decrease yan. <clears throat> Question number nine. Which of the following is not true about term life insurance? So, not true yung false na naman. Primary, primarily an investment, primarily a protection fund, primarily an expense, an instrument not fe, not meant for minors or I don't know. So alin dito hindi totoo about term life insurance? Ah, ha, di siya investment. So yon. So hindi siya investment. It's primarily for a uh, protection fund kasi when it comes to term, so maraming types ng life insurance. But ang pinaka-purpose ng term life insurance is uh, to give you the maximum amount of uh, protection fund. Yung parang, ang term nila dito is income protection for your family. So if um, yung pinaka-purpose mo when you want the maximum amount of insurance for income protection for your family, term life insurance is the best choice for you. Question number 10. If you're a breadwinner, which of the following should be your least priority? Life insurance, retirement fund, emergency fund, travel fund, or I don't know. Obviously, it's travel fund. Wala yan sa personal finance na usapan, but I think it's important in real life. Part 2, behavior. So, I'll answer this as honest as possible. For every income that you earn, how much do you set aside for savings and investment? Sa akin, siguro, in reality, at least 34%. Do you keep track of your monthly expenses? Most of the time, nakapagod talaga mag-track but as much as possible, do it. Pero ako parang uh, gumawa na lang ako ng 2 months sa pagta-track. So, I link a video here nung pag-track ko ng expenses ko. Gumawa na ako ng video ko about doon. But yun, uh, it's, it gets tiring. Ang ginawa ko na lang, uh, I just made 2 months para lang mag-gauge ko. Actually, 1 month pala yun. 1 month na pagta-track ng expenses ko. I do it para magkaroon lang ako ng gauge kung magkano talaga yung nag-gasses ko within the month. Question number 13. Describe the way you pay your credit card or other forms of debts that carrying high interest charges. I always pay the total balance so I don't pay the interest charges at all. So, yan. Pasayin mo natin ibang options. I just pay the minimum amount. I generally pay the minimum amount. So, wag mong gawin yun. So, always pay yung total balance para wala kang bayarang charges. Moving on to question number 14. How are you with your values-based financial goals? Uh, I'm able to achieve my values base most of the time. I'm still not yet perfect when, when it comes to personal finance, but I do my best and hindi ko na masyadong pinapressure yung sarili ko if I made mistakes. But I always try to do my best when it comes to personal finance. Uh, um, question number 15. Which statement best describes how you handle money? Bahala na si Batman. I'm uncomfortable with money, so I rely on others to deal with it. I manage my money, but 
with a lot of stress and difficulty I still have to learn about money but I'm hopeful I am sometimes happy with the way I am happy the way I man I am happy with the way I manage money then I'll just submit your answer and let's see yung score ko Ding -ding. boom 50-50 uh, sa knowledge and 44 out of 50 when it comes to my behavior. It's uh, Your total FQ score is at 94%. Excellent. So, I uh, I encourage you to try this test. Uh, hopefully, may natutunan kayong bago in this video. And hopefully, you appreciate this video. This is just a simple video but I think uh, it will help a lot of people when it comes to personal finance and may increase nito yung financial IQ nyo. So, if you have suggestions, uh, ideas na parang for my future videos that I could parang make please uh, let me know in the comment section down below that's just it for this uh video it's simple it's sweet i know i hope you learned something new from this so yon uh please don't forget to like the uh like button if not appreciate your video and subscribe pagka you like my content that's it see you in the next video bye